started this show actually just to showcase what we've been working on over the years and who we are as artists and basically what we enjoy doing with our spare time and what we want to express an idea or communicate in a different way other than language or writing than we express through our art. So we just wanted to share that with everybody and share what we love and see what they thought. We just had the opportunity to uh, get the gallery and it was cheap and we thought why not we have an uh, abundance of work and we thought it would be a good way to just showcase the work. I held the show to communicate or to sorry to demonstrate what art is and what it should be portraying and I think art should be an honest communication of a person, an honest interpretation of who a person is. That's truly what art should be. It should be an honest expression. Uh, well, right now I'm kind of in the experimental phase of my artistic career. I mean, there's no uh, concepts specific to my work, but it's mainly just trying to get better at technique. I've always been inspired by just trying to explore the creative side of my brain and just seeing what comes out on the paper. I mean, like, a lot of it's not a lot of direction, it's just kind of putting my hand on the paper and seeing what happens. I make my artwork to portray the truth of what I see in the world. And what I see in the world is corporations destroying the natural environment and people allowing corporations to destroy the natural environment. And I also see that everything revolves around the illusion of money. And that money is the biggest religion in the world. And that's what's destroying all of the beauty. And what we need to do is love. We need to love each other and we need to love nature and the beauty that surrounds us and gives us life. Well, this piece in particular is all about duality and it uh, describes many different relationships both between people and emotions and experience and how there's two sides to every coin and basically I want people to look at it, create their own narrative and draw from the subject matter what they want. The revolution paintings, uh, I came up with them by sticking a nail in the center of a board and I would spin it by hand and apply paint to the board but it, it would slow down too quickly and I really wanted to make circles because I had an obsession with circles because they're infinite. I made a mechanism with a motor uh, out of an old fan and I put Velcro on the top of the fan and then I was able to put boards on and make a piece and take the board off again. And I really like this idea because it allowed me to make paintings quickly and give them out to all the people who support me in what I do. It's been really fun doing this and it's uh, added a new aspect to my work. Next show is April 22nd at my house where I move out of it. It's uh, 455 Randolph Avenue. I will be collaborating with Terry Fleet and it will be a social gathering and also a presentation of a new piece that's never